yes, I was asked to make a, a short uh, explain how to video on this uh, sun tracker system. And uh, in the bottom here, I have a concrete slab. It's about uh, 80 times 80 and 200 millimeters thick. And from that one, I have this square tube here, and it's 60 times 60 and uh, 3 millimeter thickness. Also, this uh, support for the linear element is the same dimension. And here I have a hub from, uh, yeah, you can buy them from a hardware store. It's uh, four times 100, I think. Just a hub if you want to work some uh, wagon or something. It uh, has the bearing in here, and you order, ordinarily you put a, a wheel or something there. And uh, here I have an angle, 50 times 50, and here is the same dimension, 60 times 60 and 3 millimeters thick. Here I have an ordinary bearing, and it's uh, a short axle welded to the support here is only 20 millimeters. And uh, these uh, actuators here, uh, linear actuators here, you can see they are 12 volt DC and the stroke is 350 millimeters. You buy them on uh, AliExpress. I can uh, make uh, add a link into the description. And this is the two axis solar tracker controller, two axis. And it's controlled by this unit here, and also by this uh, photo switch here. It's two plates on each, uh, east and west, and they measure the difference between them. And then it sets the actuators. And I made this for uh, three ordinary sized solar panels. And this material here is 25 times 25, 2 millimeters thick walls. And uh, it's just uh, MIG welded, and it, uh, it's no problem with high wind and anything, because I have it out standing here on my field and it's, it's working. And uh, the angle who it moves is about uh, 90 degrees, so you don't cover that much of the, of the, the sun, but it's, uh, it's working so much better if you have them. If you uh, compared, if you have them standing still, and this uh, photo sensor there is working really good also, and it really tracks the sun. The only problem I had was that is they had to be um, have to have a uh, time relay, so it adjusts only one uh, five minutes each hour, and it shuts off uh, during night because otherwise you burn this controller. It's small. Realizing there, I burned someone because it's really trying to stand into the east or west, and then it, it burned them. So I put a time relay, so it's only activated between, uh, I think it's uh, 6 in the morning and to about uh, 6 in the evening. And then between, I have 5 minutes gap, 5 minutes open, or whatever you call it, uh, each hour. Here I have uh, three of these uh, concrete slabs. I have four of these sun controls, con tr sun trackers, but I'm uh, not only using one of them. And here you can see this this hub. Okay, it's from uh, you can make a yeah, put wheels on. And there you also can see the concrete slab underneath. And it works for three of these uh, solar panels. If you live in Sweden, I have three of these for sale. Complete.